Hi, this is Amy, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Google Forms feature to create a quiz. And our quiz is going to be the, for the purpose of formative assessment. So you want to start out at your Google Drive. That's drive.google.com. It's always a fast and easy way to get there. And once you're in your drive, you want to click your now new blue button and go to more and Google Forms. So yes, I'm creating this in a shared folder because I want my team to be able to see it and use it too. And now we're going to give it the form a name. So in the top left hand corner, we're going to type the name. When we type the name up here, it's going to give it a name here and down here. So I'm going to call this sample form. You might want to play along today when you're watching this video and make your own sample form. So we're going to ask multiple choice questions because we want to use the new feature of Google Forms to give our students automatic feedback. So let's go ahead and type up a multiple choice question for number one and then we will practice using the quiz options. All right, so I've typed up a question and I'm going to change this question to required so that my students don't accidentally move on without answering it. And now we're going to check the settings of our form. So we're going to go up to this gear in the top right and we'll give it a click. And now we want to control our settings. So I'm definitely going to collect email addresses because I want to be able to see how my student did. That's going to give me their information so I know which student is which. That's going to happen automatically within my school. Now remember, if if you're giving this to people who are not inside your domain, you'll want to create questions that say, what is your first name? What is your last name? What is your email address? And those will be your first three questions. Um, so I'm going to set these up like this, and then I'm going to go back and add one more question. So now I'm going to go to my plus symbol and I'm going to add another multiple choice question. So I'll type mine, you type yours, and then resume the video. All right, so I've added another question to my quiz and I'm going to change this one to required as well. And now I'm going to add one more question just to show off one of the new features of Google Forms. So on this question, I'm going to try type a true false question and then I'm going to show you how to use pictures as answer choices. All right, so I've asked a question here and now I want to set my um, answer choices as pictures and I actually downloaded GIFs from the internet um, and you can download pictures or moving pictures which are called GIFs or whatever it is you want to add in here. So I'm going to go to my answer choice here and I'm going to choose two different answers yes and no and I'm going to add a picture for each one of those images. So I'm going to click my little picture tool over to the right hand side and choose an image to upload. I've got them saved to my downloads folder right now. They're just called no and yes so I'll go ahead and open my first option and upload it and now I'm gonna add another option that's gonna be my no answer click the picture again and now I will choose the no option alright so you can see I've got my two different answer choices in there some funny little pictures and I'll go ahead and make this question required as well all right, now all my questions are required and I'm ready to go and set up my quiz. So I'll go into the gear and go to the quizzes tab and I'm going to turn on this toggle, make this a quiz. Now I need to decide, are my students going to get their feedback immediately or am I going to manually review and then let the feedback release? So you'll have to make that decision. And then we'll also need to decide what can respondents see, missed questions, correct answers, point values. I'm going to let them see all this information. All right, so now I'll click save and when I go back to my quiz and click on a question, I'm going to see some different options here. I'm going to see answer key appear. So I'll click answer key and now I need to assign points. I'm going to make this question worth five points and now I can go down and add answer feedback. So what are my students going to find out if they type an incorrect answer? What kind of information are they going to get? So I'm going to say, sorry, that's incorrect please watch the video attached to learn more. So I'm going to go open a new tab now and go to YouTube and I'm going to find a video about formative assessment because that's what my quiz is about and I'm going to give my students a little uh, reteach opportunity. So I'm going to use this video here from Helen Donaldson. I don't know Helen but thanks for the video. Um, it's the first one that comes up and I'm going to go to share and 
and whoops, misclick there. I'm going to go to share and grab the link. So share right down here. And then I'm going to copy this link. Now I'm going to go back to my formative assessment and choose the link option and paste that link in and then say please watch this video and add. Now for my correct answers I'm gonna say way to go you got it. Um, if I wanted I could give them a link too like maybe I wanna do a link of someone clapping. Alright so I'll go ahead and click Save and I'm gonna do the same thing with each of my questions so I'm just gonna click on the question go to my answer key um, and then select my options. So I'll select my point value. I'm going to make this one worth five points as well. Um, I'm going to add answer feedback. Um, sorry, I forgot to actually select my correct answer up here. So my correct answer is going to be this. And you see how it has a green check mark out there. So I need to do that on this question as well. and the right answer is going to be two of these and I can also add answer feedback if I want and now I'll add an answer here on my third one and my point values I'll see the green check up here and now all of my questions have got a check mark they've got a point value and if I want I can add answer feedback on each question alright I think our form is ready to go now so we can now go to the send option over here. If you're using Google Classroom, uh, then you can add this to Google Classroom. If you're going to send it through email to a group, you can do that here. If you want to get a link to it, you can do that right here. You even have a built-in shortener, although this is not as short as the goo.gl URL shortener is. Um, so however you want to send that out, you can do it. I'll show you one more way. I'm going to go to preview on my form. Let me move this down a little bit so you can see. So here's this long link. If I want, I can use my goo.gl URL shortener now to really get a short link to this form. So there it is. That is how the new quiz feature in Google Forms works. And um, I hope that you're able to replicate this process and use this in your classroom. You can also post that link, that long link on the preview form to Canvas or whatever system you use to communicate with your students. I uh, hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye-bye.